Types of ETFs Investors have access to a variety of ETFs that can be used to manage risk in their portfolios, generate income, engage in speculation and price appreciation, and generate income. Here is a brief summary of some of the ETFs that are currently on the market. Passive and active ETFs can be classified as passively managed or actively managed. The goal of passive ETFs is to mimic the performance of a larger index, whether it be a more specialized sector or trend or a more diversified index like the S&P 500. Gold mining stocks are an illustration of the latter category. As of February 18, 2022, there are roughly eight ETFs that concentrate on businesses involved in gold mining, omitting inverse, leveraged, and funds with little assets under management AUM. Typically, actively managed ETFs do not aim to track an index of assets but rather have portfolio managers choose which securities to hold. Despite being more expensive for investors, these products have advantages over passive ETFs. Below, we look at actively managed ETFs. Bond ETFs Investors can receive consistent income from holding bond ETFs. Their income distribution is based on how well the underlying bonds perform. Government bonds, corporate bonds, and municipal bonds, also known as state and local bonds, might be among them. Bond ETFs lack a maturity date like their underlying assets do. They typically trade above or below the price of the underlying bond. Stock ETFs Stock, equity, ETFs are made up of a collection of equities that track a certain sector or industry. A stock ETF, for instance, might follow equities in the automobile industry or overseas. The goal is to give a single industry with both strong performers and new entrants with growth potential a varied exposure. Stock ETFs feature lower costs than stock mutual funds and don't require actual ownership of any securities. Industry, Sector ETFs A sector or industry ETFs are investments that concentrate on a certain industry or sector. For instance, an ETF for the energy sector will include businesses engaged in that industry. Industry ETFs are designed to give investors exposure to an industry's potential growth by monitoring the activity of its constituent companies. One such is the recent inflow of capital into the technology sector. ETFs do not entail direct ownership of shares, thus the downside of erratic stock performance is likewise limited in them. During economic cycles, industry ETFs are also utilized to cycle in and out of sectors. Commodity ETFs Commodity ETFs invest in commodities like crude oil or gold, as their name suggests. The advantages of commodity ETFs are numerous. They first diversify a portfolio, which makes it simpler to hedging downturns. Commodity ETFs, for instance, can provide as a buffer during a stock market downturn. Second, investing in a commodity ETF is less expensive than buying the commodity outright. This is so that the former does not require spending money on storage and insurance. Currency ETFs the performance of currency pairings, which include both domestic and foreign currencies, is tracked through currency exchange traded funds ETFs. ETFs that invest in currencies have many uses. They can be used to make currency price predictions based on a nation's political and economic trends. Importers and exporters also use them to diversify their portfolios or as a safety net against foreign market volatility. Some of them are additionally employed as inflation hedges. Inverse ETFs by shorting equities, inverse ETFs try to profit from stock falls. Shorting is the practice of selling a stock in anticipation of a decrease in value and buying it back at a loss. Derivatives are used by an inverse ETF to short a stock. In essence, they are wagers against the market. An inverse ETF appreciates proportionately as the market falls. Investors need to be aware that many inverse exchange-traded funds ETFs, are actually exchange-traded notes ETNs, not real ETFs. Although it trades like a stock and is backed by an issuer like a bank, an ETN is a bond. To find out if an ETN is a good fit for your portfolio, be sure to speak with your broker. Leveraged ETFs It's a leveraged ETF aims to return a number of times, such as two or three times, the return of the underlying investments. For instance, a 2x leveraged S&P 500 ETF will return 2% if the index increases by 1%, and 2% less if the index decreases by 1%. To increase their returns, these products use derivatives like options or futures contracts. Leveraged inverse ETFs are another option, they aim to generate an inverse multiplied return. Thanks for watching.